So hey guys, welcome to the channel Code Chef. If you want to learn competitive programming and get a good hold on data structures and algorithm, this is the one-stop destination for you. Every week, there are several videos which will enhance your skills in DSA as well as the editorial video of the Code Chef contest. So if you are new to the channel, then do subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification. So myself, Shirayu Jain, I'm a Code Chef educator, and in today's video, we are going to discuss about Kruskal's algorithm code. So okay guys, now let us begin with the coding for the Kruskal's algorithm, right? So we'll be coding from scratch. Uh, so basically we have some knowledge of uh, what is uh, disjoint set union, right? And we know what, what are the optimizations that we have performed like uh, a union by rank or like path compression. So we'll apply all of that knowledge here and try to form the code for the Kruskal's algorithm, right? So if you have not watched what is DSU and what is the basic of Kruskal algorithm, so please do watch that videos as well and let's start off with the coding of the Kruskal's algorithm, right? So here what do we have as you can see the test case, right? These are the number of edges that we have, right? And each edge, right? The starting vertex, the ending vertex and uh, the weight uh, corresponding to that edge, right? So first of all, what we can do is since it contains multiple informations, it will always better to go with the structure, right? So what we can do is we can form a struct over here, right? And uh, let's form it and name it as H, okay? And let's make it the starting vertex or let's make it as vertex start something like that and vertex end and weight right so these are the three parameters or not parameters exactly but three type of uh, what you can say properties of this edge right whenever we form something related to this edge we need to define these right so this is the structure that we have now let's make the array of this type of structure right so what we can do is we can make an array oh first let us let us enter what are the number of edges that we have so let us say that t will input this t right and we'll make an h type of array right and let's name this as uh, something related to uh, not MST like something related to it, this only so let's make it array only right ARR okay and uh, the size of this will be T right and for I equals 0 I less than T I plus plus let's input all the elements right so we have three things so first we will input this dot right so what what is the first property that is vertex start so vertex start then area of i dot vertex end vertex end then area of i dot wait right so this is this is the thing right so properly de define the structure and now we are entering the uh, values that are associated with this right okay so now what does we need to form we need to form what at what minimum cost we can travel all of these uh, vertices right so what we can do here is we can just follow the approach right so what was the approach of Chris Carl's um, right so firstly we need to see that whether uh, before uni union them right we need to see that whether the vertex form a common parent and sister uh, or not right that if they form it then it is a loop right then it is a loop and we need not to add the edge which uh, you know makes the whole graph or makes the particular set of vertices in the form of loop right so we need to check it right so before checking that uh, ma ma mainly when we have studied the DSU we need to form the DSU functions to union two set of vertices two set of components if we want to union it right so we need some helper function. So if you have not watched that DSU, then kindly refer to it. Otherwise, I'll form the union functions over here. But the explanation you can more deeply understand in that playlist as well, right? Uh, okay. So now let's uh, 
from the helper functions right so first thing is we need to have the helper function for the parent right so if we want to know what is the parent so let's form the helper function of the parent find parent it consumes one thing that is uh, let's say vertex right so uh, these are the things right and also we need to maintain two arrays right one for the parent and one for the rank when we use you know optimization for the rank of union of two set of components so what we can do we can define here the global arrays that is parent let's make it 10 to the power 4 and ranks let's make it 10 to the power 4 as well right otherwise you can define the main function and can pass as arguments but here for the sake of simplicity let's define it globally right so now what we need to do is if parent vertex equals equals this vertex that we have then return or we can say here right then return vertex obviously right because we have seen why the reason is quite simple because if add the parent array of this vertex right at the parent parental index if it is equal to that particular index only that means it is the absolute parent right we cannot go further that right so we'll return that otherwise return uh, find parent inside that parent of this vertex right okay and for the rank compression what we can do we can mark it as this vertex equals to this right so this is what we have seen in ds right it is nothing new this is the helper function for the find parent now let's define the function for this dsu right so wide uh, let's say rank by union functionality right and what do we get we get two set of uh, uh, two set of uh, vertices right so let's name it int vertex 1 int vertex 2 right and let's try to make the rank by union right so first of all what we will do let's find the absolute parent for it right so we can find it using this helper function find parent and we can pass the vertex in it vertex 1 and again mark it to vertex 1 i have named it as it, as it is or you can name it something else like vertex a right and int vertex b will find the parent of vertex 2 okay so this is the first thing okay so we have found the parents of these two right now what we need to do is first of all we need to compare the ranks right so we have seen the absolute parents so if the ranks of vertex a is less than the rank of vertex b that means vertex b is a larger component that means that we need to associate vertex a component with vertex b so what we will do the parent of vertex a will be vertex b right that's the thing else if the counter condition for this will be if ranks of vertex b is less than ranks of vertex a right then what we should do we'll make the parent of vertex b equal to vertex a right the last case which is pending is that if both of the ranks are equal then what we should do we can associate anyone with any other component right so if the ranks of both the parents of the parents vertex a and vertex b is equal then we can associate either of the one with the another one right so we will associate let us say parent of vertex b will be equal to vertex a right and now what we will do will increase the rank of this vertex a with one 
right so we have seen this why we should do this so this is basically the rank by union helper function which will be required and the find parent function which will be required now it's the time to analyze both of these arrays right we have taken the input right so let's make an initialize method to initialize both of these arrays right so what this function will do we can do it in the main function as well but let's try to make one function which will simply initialize both of these arrays so for int i equals to 0 i less than 1000 10 to the power 4 i plus plus what it will do the ranks of i will be equal to i uh, not ranks the ranks of i will be equal to 0 and the parent of i will be equal to i right so this is this is the initialize function okay so we have almost done with the helper function now it's time for the main code right so what we should do in the main code okay so we have this array which has all the starting and the ending vertices with the weights right so the first and the foremost thing is we need we are doing Criss-Kraal's algorithm in a greedy manner right so what we should do is firstly we should sort the whole uh, set of edges in the form of increasing weights right so sort all the edges in the increasing weight because this is a greedy approach right so let's sort it right so what we can do we can make a helper function for also for it because this is not direct we are sorting a structure right which is of type edge right so what we will do we will make a helper function to sort this helper function to sort this array so if you know about comparators right it would be very easy to sort this how we can sort this sort arr arr plus t and we can make like uh what we can take cross uh cross call cm cross call comparator function right so now we need to define this function cross calls comparator function so how we can do this is let's define it here pool now what will be the arguments in this it is it will be of type edge right edge e1 edge e2 right so we need to compare two quantities which are of what type which are of type edge on what basis we should compare it let's try and see look at it this so if return what will return from here is e1 dot weight should be less than e2 dot weight we are returning a quantity by comparing two things and what we will return that the weight of one should be less than the weight of another that means it will return true right and it will accordingly compare and sort the whole edge array that we have made right so this is one thing so now we have sorted this out and it will be in this uh, in the particular order okay this we have done now the next step the sorting is done now the next step will be to know that whether we can form a loop in this or not if it forms the loop then we should not take that edge if it doesn't then we can take the edge and perform the union between the two components if they are disconnected right so how we can how we can just get through this is for int i equals 0 i less than n i less than t right i less than t i plus plus how we can check that whether the, it can form loop or not just find the most absolute parent and look that whether these two set of vertices have the same parent or not if they do then it will form a loop otherwise it doesn't right so to check whether the vertices form a loop right so how we can check if the find parent functionality of array of i dot vertex start is not equal to dot vertex end then we should okay then we are fine then we are fine that it will not it will not form the loop 
now in that particular case if we want to know uh, firstly what we will do will union it rank by union what we will do we will pass the both the vertices dot vertex start comma area of i dot vertex end right so this will be done we will rank it and union the two set of components also what we will do since we require to find the minimum weight right in which we can cover all the set of vertices so well, let's make a variable here that is int min weight right so since this vertex is now included right because they do not form a loop it does not form a loop then what we can simply do is we can increment this min weight plus equal to the weight which is associated with this particular index right so what is the value area of i dot weight and at last if it is required then we can just give the output as weight okay, this is the minimum weight required right okay so i think most of the steps are done here and uh, let's see if it runs fine or let's figure out that what are the mistakes if we have done anything right let's try to build this up okay else if four okay ranks here oh we can output min weight over here right it's not area of i dot weight oh one more rank here okay okay so now we are getting it as 150 which is the minimum weight for this particular like minimum weight of the MST right right so uh, the MST weight that we have ob obtained and uh, if you want to know that what are the edges that we have included in this MST right what we can do is here only we can output the edges right so if we are taking this right so we can output that this is the edge that I have taken okay so uh yeah so if you see this uh what are the edges that we took is first is this one right this one one two two three three four and four five right you can see here all the vertices have been covered in this right so 20 and 30 and 40 and the 60 right so 60 plus uh, 40 that is 100 130 that is 130 130 plus this 20 is 150 right so in this weight right we have covered all the vertices and we have seen the edges as well so this is more or less uh, the code for the criss